So today we're going to explore anger. Oh, it's a corker, isn't it, anger? There's so much of it in the world right now, I think, um, sadly. And it, it comes up so often. Um, I have a lot of content on um, Insight Timer and um, it's my most popular track, is my track about anger, which is crackers, isn't it, really? <laughs> when there's all these other content on there that I have about all sorts of different subjects. But anger is the one that um, that people struggle with. It's also one of my most popular courses on Insight Timer as well. So that really tells you that a lot of people are... Yeah, not happy with, with how angry they get or not, not happy with the levels of anger they're experiencing in their lives. And I think, for me, the, there's such a, a huge misunderstanding about anger. Um, first of all, that, that it's that there's something wrong with it. I think let's start there. Let's start by not pretending that everybody doesn't at some point get angry. And that, that you know, it's a, it's a much suppressed emotion, isn't it? Because at some point in our lives probably you know particularly when we were two maybe somebody said that's not okay it's not okay to be angry um it's not okay to express yourself that way go go sit on the bottom step or you know take yourself off and behave better that kind of thing you know that 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 was a massive part of our lives growing up probably for a lot of us particularly for the the people I work with it wasn't okay for me to be angry as a child definitely not and definitely not for a lot of people my age um, I'm 53, by the way, if you've not watched my videos before, <laughs> just in case you don't know, I'm a Gen Xer and, you know, we, 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 you know, we weren't really encouraged to express our emotions. Now, the thing, the other misunderstanding about anger, um, that is extremely powerful, it's an extremely powerful drive for why we get so angry, is that in a, in the moment of experiencing that feeling we think that it's coming from somebody else let's let's mostly say it's somebody else i think sometimes we can get angry with situations but i think mostly we get angry with other people don't we so when we experience that you know i don't know what it feels like to you but uh, you know it's tension in the body there's it's like fire you know you like you feel a light don't you it's frustration like it's uh, you know the body feels very tense and tight when we experience anger and i think that's worth worth looking at actually it's just to notice how your body is when you're feeling angry and um, get in touch with your body and we'll come on to that a little bit more in the video so when we experience that initial rush of anger it's very easy to um well i think it's pretty normal to think that that's coming from out there that it's coming from another person it's coming from mostly from another person perhaps from a situation but mostly it's coming from another person that that person is doing something that is making us feel a particular way and this is why you know it's it's such a misunderstood emotion is because that's the main misunderstanding. The main misunderstanding, misunderstanding is that another person can make you feel anything. And, you know, it may be anger, it may be frustration, it may be sadness, it may be all sorts of other emotions that we attribute to the outside world. So we attribute to other people, circumstances, situations, you know, somebody's tone of voice, all sorts of things. And of course, from that misunderstanding, from the misunderstanding that the other person is the cause of the feeling, the action that we then take makes perfect sense. It makes perfect sense to shout at that other person, to push them, to be, you know, I'm not condoning any of these behaviours, but to to send them a rude message, to, to whatever, you know, the, the, whatever it is, whatever action we might take. Um, of course, from that place of believing that if that person just wasn't there or didn't do that thing or I could get them to just stop that then I will feel okay it makes perfect sense to act in the way that we act when we feel angry and we've all done it haven't we we've all snapped at somebody we love we've all done things that that later on we often feel bad about and regret when when we've been angry now that's something that I must say as part of this video is that you do not um you don't control that i mean there's not a separate 
choosing individual in the moment when you act the way you act because you're feeling angry that is coming from just what makes sense in the moment it, it cannot be any other way you, you couldn't be doing anything anything different and I know that can be really hard and really challenging because we've been brought up haven't we to take responsibility for ourselves and do the right thing and blah 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 but actually you you can't you can't at that moment um you you can't have done you couldn't have done anything different however when we're in a conversation like this we can start to take a different view of all of this so i feel like there's like there's like a junction it's quite difficult to demonstrate this with <laughs> with only one hand <laughs> at the moment um but there's like a junction so let's say you know the junction's here and at, at the point of experiencing the anger we either go on the path over this way and the path over this way is is to act in the world to try and relieve that anger to try and get rid of it because we think it's coming from the outside world an alternative path emerges when we start to see that that feeling is not an indication as to a problem in the outside world that feeling is an indication that we are experiencing an emotion that's been generated from the inside we're misaligned in some way and i like the word misalignment because we're misaligned from um you know we're believing in separation so we're misaligned with our connection to the other person we're we're misaligned um with um we're misaligned with our own you know connection to universal intelligence we're believing things that are not true we, we're off we're off kilter the, the mind has, has taken over and the mind generally <laughs> can be, generally is quite unhelpful when it takes over so when we when we see that when we realize that when we realize oh you know i'm i'm not in a good place um at the moment perhaps i shouldn't react perhaps i shouldn't send that message perhaps i shouldn't shout at somebody we we kind of give ourselves a bit of space to allow that to pass now that that feeling of anger if if we don't judge it as wrong for that's the first thing everybody experiences this this is part of the human experience when you feel angry as you start to see oh you know this is my system this is what's happening it's all unconscious i'm not controlling it it falls away much you, you can't control it don't don't try and control anger you'll end up you know worse off i think when we start to see that um that there's there's some sense of um well there's a, there's a little bit more ease around it and there's a little bit more of a sense of being able to just let it go or it just lets it just move through itself we don't let it go it moves through so an example of this that that happened to me quite some time ago was that um th there was somebody in in my life who repeatedly sent I mean, I don't think it's too strong a word to sell, say, say quite obnoxious <laughs> messages, um, quite controlling, quite rude, um, pretty unpleasant, really. And for, for a while, for, for quite a few years, I had been retaliating, um, reacting to these messages by sending, you know, equivalently unpleasant messages back. And all of that came from a place of anger. It came from a place of frustration. It came from a place of, if they could just stop doing this, I would be okay. I, I need them to stop so that I can feel better. And of course, that was fruitless <laughs> because, it, it, you know, you can't control other people's behaviours. And, and if you're interested, I, I released a video, um, the, the video before this, I think, that I talk about control. Um, really interesting and connects quite well to this subject and then one day when I received one of those messages I I really noticed the level of discomfort in my body and that's the key the body is so wise the body really does see it really does experience this unconscious believing of things that are not true it tells us the body there's all that discomfort and tension and unpleasant sensation so i noticed that this particular time and 
it was almost like there was a different voice in my head rather than the voice saying right you need to retaliate you need to send a message back da, da, da. the voice said put your phone down Claire and go and have go and have your tea <laughs> or your dinner or whatever and, and just forget about it just just leave it you're not in a fit state to reply to this message was the voice that seemed to be there in my head and that's what I did I remember put my phone down. I was I can remember exactly where I was. I was stood in the corner of the kitchen. We've got a little bit of corner unit. I stood in that corner and I put my phone down and I, I just got on with my evening. I um you know, we had our evening meal, watched a bit of telly, chilled out, and later on that evening I looked at that message again and there was nothing there. I didn't feel angry, I didn't feel upset, I didn't feel anything really. It was like it was like the unconscious response, like that visceral feeling in the body had just moved through and I didn't need to do anything about that. And when I read the message again, I just sort of thought, oh, this person's really upset. I, I don't really have to do anything about that. I don't have to act on that. I don't have to fix it. I, I don't have to fix them. I, I can kind of begin to, you know, it's an illusion, of course, is the choice, but I can begin to choose to not to, to not respond and then there's a lot of peace in that so that's um that's kind of my uh my thoughts on that my thoughts on anger you know if, if you can just put it back to the pause you know put the pause is becoming my only <laughs> tool or technique that i recommend but to just pause to take a moment to take a breath to stop and to just Give your system a chance to allow that to pass through and see what comes after that, see what clarity emerges after that. So I hope you found that helpful. Thank you so much for being here today, um, watching this and listening. And um, yeah, like it if you like it. Ask me a question if you want to ask me a question in the comments. Take care. Lots of love.